So we've tested the app and we know that we're getting data, which is wonderful. But how do we then get the data into our uh, composable so we can work with it? Okay. What we do is, of course, we have search screen here. We can, can pass the view model by saying book search view models and say hill to view model. Okay. And then, of course, that means the data that we want, it's going to be added or it has to be retrieved inside of book list. So that means in our book list here, we can also pass something like this, our view model. And we're going to have an issue there because we have to say that book list uh, needs to have a view model book search like this. Okay. And at this point here, we'll hope that at this point here, hopefully we can just say something like uh, go, let's say log D right here. And I can say view model go to list of books right mutable state and then go to value and then let's go ahead and see data like this see what happens so let's add call this tag like this let's see what's going to happen so you can see here now that in the beginning we still have this book list book list this tag is still empty and then we have this tag search books now let's change I'm going to show you here something. Let's change this tag to something different. Let's say search like this. So it's different. So you can see what I'm about to show you here. Let's run again. Okay, click. All right, we see that we have book list. Book list is still empty. And then we go to search this one here and shows that. But if we go back, let me actually search for book list you'll see what will happen here if I actually add book list you'll see that indeed we start we're empty empty and then at some point we get that information so this is very normal because remember it takes a few milliseconds to go and get that data and pass it through our view model for us to receive it so it may seem that it's empty forever but it's not really so this is why we have added this list of books into a wrapper class. We can now to do something like this. We can say if just to test things, we say if view model, I'm going to go and say dot list of books, right? And then I'll go to value to get actually the data or exception and say a uh, loading is true. If it's loading, I'm going to go ahead and say, show me a circle progress bar uh, indicator like this and what I can do also I can say loading or log D let's instead of a tag let's just say boo like this okay and I'm gonna say loading give it a time else we're just gonna say log D and let's just go ahead and get the list in fact just actually let's just take this and put inside there okay and I'm gonna do the same tag boo so we're not confused like this so we get the actual data let's see what's gonna happen now if I run now all right let's clear oh it's clear nicely let's say boo that's the tag we added there okay so let's go aha you saw there it thought for a bit. Let's go back. I'm going to click again. You see, it thought for a bit because it takes time. And then we should see in our log, boo, where it started. Let's see. There we go. Boo is loading. Boo is loading. And then we ran search. So it went ahead, of course, first is going to show what we have here because this makes sense in our view model directly. And then we'll see let's scroll down let's just look for book list i think this is going to be better let's just look at book list and you can see at some point right loading loading and then book list got information right so that's one of the things that it can be very frustrating especially when you're debugging and because you're going to look at the logs and you will say well nothing is coming in well it just takes a little bit right the list is going to be empty in the beginning a few milliseconds later it will populate
So this is one of the reasons, again, that we have added, we wrapped our book uh, list here, a mutable list, or mutable state that is, we wrapped it around this data or exception because we are going to pass Boolean and exception as well. But most important now, we have this Boolean that we're setting up as we get the data, right? We say, if we're getting the data, we're going to say loading to true as such, and then we load our list of books value by going to repository and get all the books, passing the query, and there we have it. That the data may not be right away available because remember we are going somewhere in a network that we have no control over and it takes time. All right. Make sure also because we are in the nav, we're navigation here, we need to instantiate our view model, our hilt view model like this. And, right, and pass the type, in this case our book search view model, and then we pass it along uh, as our view model there. And in our search, in this case, then we can instantiate just by saying view model. And once you have that in the root screen, in the root composable, then you can pass it along. And inside of where you are going to call it, then you can see we have our view model, it's already instantiated, we're going to be passing along, and then we can just check for that data.